hi i hope you are doing good so in this video we are going to see that how you can create image following cursor in cargo 3 as well as in cargo 2 and uh, if you see uh, when i'm hovering on any link this is the contact form link it changes into some another shape so yes we are going to see this thing and this is the example for cargo 2 website we are going to implement in both both ad editor and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe uh, now let's go to the first let's see for the cargo 3 let me create a new page and this is going to be our home page let me set it as home after that this is my link which is home page in cargo 3 and then I am adding one more link contact form let me make this let in the center and increase the font size as well now first let me link this to the home page and this one to the contact form and after that what i uh, what we need to do to add the functionality i have linked uh, this blog i have created uh, this blog and here if you scroll down i have uh, told uh, step by step so first we need to add the css for the cursor you can copy the css this is for the cargo 3 and after that what you need to do you need to go in the code section now they have moved the code section you have to click here and after that you can add the css after adding the css what we need to do this is for the shape currently we, we are going to see how, how to add a circle shape this is for the image i will tell you in a uh, like later so this is the script which we have to copy and after copying the script go back to the html section and paste this now as you can see the functionality has been added you do not need to worry anything just go to the uh, blog which i have uh, created and yeah you can copy it simply from there now let's open this in the new tab and here you can see that on uh, moving to any link the cursor is changing now let's see how to modify the code little bit as uh, of your choice go to the css if you want to increase the width and height you can simply increase it like this 100 if i make it 100 and height also 100 now you can see that the shape of the circle has been changed if you do not if you want suppose in a square shape you can remove the border radius property and now it is in a square shape you can adjust the border radius from here you can change the color by uh, any of your choice like this and this code is for when it is hovered on any links now if you hover on this it is changing into green so you can change the color from here like this and if i hover as you can see the color has been changed now let's see for the width part uh, you can make it more smaller I'm just showing you how you can play with the property now you can see the it has been changed if you want to make the circle big just increase the width and height so this is how you can play with the shape and uh, uh, yeah you can customize as per your choice if you want to add any image so first go back to the blog and here you can see uh, 
in this part I have added the code here you can simply copy this from here and after that just paste it here now you can see this is the uh, image you can simply go here and from the uh, you can upload the image like this and uh, I'm uploading one more image let me upload one more image from here so you can click on this and after that you can copy this URL this is for the eyeball and after that go back to the CSS setting and here instead of background we are, we are using background image property and you can update the URL image here like this so as you can see now the URL has, has been changed uh, it, now the cursor image has been changed sorry for the mistake and this is the second image and we want that this globe icon should display when when we are on any link so what you need to do again go back to the CSS part and here add the, remove the background and instead of that use background image property add the URL which we have copied earlier and simply now as you can see that it has been updated as you can see you are seeing the multiple uh, multiple image here so what we can do we can add one more property which is I guess background repeat and we can say no repeat now you can see that the image is not repeating and we can make it as background size contain yeah now you can see that uh, it is showing the image properly I will update this CSS in the in my blog as well so now you will see the updated code here uh, I didn't test it before but yeah I will update this thing as well so that you do not have to uh, worry anything now let me just publish the changes and go back to our home page as you can see as you can see that this image eyeball is also having multiple it is also not showing properly so we can simply go here and uh, copy these two properties here as well I guess then it will show properly uh, I will update this in the blog section as well now you can see that the image is coming properly it is not repeating so this is for the cargo 3 now let's see how you can do for the cargo 2 in this in the same blog I have uh, the code is little bit different for cargo 2 if you are uh, if you want to implement so simply go to the cargo 2 website what you need to do you need to simply go in the design tab go in the CSS editor and paste the code here as you can see this is the code and it will not work here uh, and after that you can simply copy this JS code I have already copied it and paste it in the HTML section and after that if you mm -hmm. let me just drag it here and if I refresh this you can see that this is how it is working same goes with the this CSS part you can change the color from here and you can change the hover color like this if you want uh, blue color let me just refresh the page again as you can see and for the uh, for the image thing you can simply copy this section as well you just need to change the image URL from here and after that let me just show you this thing 
and here if I go let me just copy this from the cargo this CSS if I copy this and go back to the cargo tool and paste the C uh, similar cursor CSS and refresh it now you can see that now we are having the eyeball image and if I over on this it changes to the globe if I and this is the it is linked with a page so yeah this is how you can implement this if you you can check this blog and if you want to support us for more such tutorial and blog you can uh, go to the buy me a coffee section and yeah you can support the page and this uh, youtube channel thank you so much i hope uh, uh, this tutorial has helped you thank you so much once again